Steph Kittner here. I'm in Orlando, Florida, getting ready to train my back for the 2012 off season. At four foot 11 and a half, um, I'm a li little girl, but I do like to um, lift very heavy. So now we're gonna hit some uh, DG uh, pull-ups, girly pull-ups. Started out in figure, and um, it's a little bit more softer look. Um, I enjoyed it. I love it. Um, but being a short person, four foot eleven, I gain muscle very quickly, and my density, of course, is very short. And I get, I gain muscle quick. Um, and I think a big misconception with women is that you can't look feminine and you can't be pretty and still have muscle too. And I think that, uh, I believe that you can still dress really pretty and look sexy and still have muscles also. Come on. Say ya. One more, let's go, pull it. Uh, Good job. <sighs> <sighs> Holy Good job. moly. <laughs> What are we going for? Let's go uh, 10, 10, and 10. We have incorporated powerlifting into my training. So, in essence, I've outgrown my figure um, as a figure competitor, and it now I'm I'm training more towards the women's physique and bodybuilding. From show to show, I'll critique my. Um, pictures um, as far as symmetry and everything else. First thing I look at is at my symmetry. I'll look at my back, my shoulders to my waist, and my waist to my, my feet. Um, I might look at how lean I was, if I was holding too much water, um, what areas I need to work on, and I actually will dice up a picture and decide from there where I'm gonna go. What do you think your strengths are versus your... My strength is work? definitely my back. Um, I, that was the very first body part in, in competitions, even in figure, that I, um, whew, I started to build. Um, because you do need that V taper, and that's where it all starts, is in your back. Um, so that's the first thing that I started building, and that's probably one of my best features. However, I have been called glute kittner and mm -hmm. <laughs> and my legs are 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 ripped and they are they're they're big. Um, I do enjoy getting lean and, and that you know whole aura of metamorph metamorphosizing myself. Um, probably my abs, I would almost say, is probably one of my worst features um, that I certainly look forward to to thickening up a little bit. Now, do you think that's because you're so small in part? Because how much do you weigh? Typically? Not very much. Off season, I'm um, right now at 125 pounds. So on stage, I'm at 112, but ripped down to, you know, maybe in in the five percent because yeah. I am so short. I do have to come in much leaner than the other girls, even in the figure. You know, when I was competing in figure because there's no room for my body fat to go. I can't hold it in areas where girls that are you know, much taller than I am can, can hide it. I can't do that. Um, there's nowhere for it to hide, so I gotta get rid of it. So even in figure, I would come in at 5% um, you know, body fat. Um, so I have to really burn it down in order to get that leanness. It's difficult to have huge muscle bellies at 125 pounds. Yes. <laughs> uh, yeah, the last um, show that I did um, in lightweight bodybuilding, they're like, oh my gosh, you only weigh 112 pounds. That's a, that's a lot of muscle for 112 pounds. <laughs> I'm here with my trainer, Davey Gibbs. Davey um, is a 2004 Olympic gold medalist in powerlifting, and he's training me this year. We are getting ready to go to Junior USA's. Yeah, yeah pretty much basically um, our training program is a lot different than most. We uh, uh, basically, we incorporate a lot of um, powerlifting 
into our training. And um, basically what that does is it spikes your hormone levels and it creates growth. And um, you know, that's where a lot of people fail um, is they typically stay with the bodybuilding exercises and the high reps and the very low carbs where we train on the off season more for power lifting which creates power, which creates growth. And it's kind of where, you know, kind of how Stephanie's gained some size. Gained this some year. size. So, yeah, I uh, basically have uh, a power team and we go to the schools, we put on power shows for the kids. So, pretty much the way yeah. I train my power team and the way we train is how we train Stephanie Two in the minutes. off season. So, four sets of 12. 12. Well, what areas do you want to work on that you feel you need to work on for the women's physique or the women's bodybuilding? Um, I'll definitely work on my biceps and probably the peaks of my biceps. Um, hard, just hardening up and getting a little bit more mature um, in my back and legs, of course, and then thickening up my, my abs. But um, the maturity comes with time. Um, even new competitors, they're not where those older competitors are going to have that harder, more mature look. Um, they're not, you know, how the do, younger. How do you see the difference between competing and prepping for female bodybuilding versus physique? Really, I've always trained hard. Um, I've always trained heavy. My, as far as figure was concerned, I went heavy and I did a lot of reps. Um, as far as my, my bodybuilding and my women's physique, we have incorporated, um, of course, the, the power lifting. So it's very, um, just like, you know, the men's bodybuilding, they do, sh you know, smaller, smaller reps and much higher weight. And I think at the end of the day, when you, when you, when you lift that 210 pounds, uh, of course, it makes you feel, you know, five foot tall and, or 10 foot tall and bulletproof. It makes me feel five foot tall and bulletproof. <laughs> Which do you prefer in terms of women's bodybuilding or the physique? Do you have a preference? Um, no, they, they, they both were the same. I mean, we work very hard for the muscles, even the figure girls, we all work very, hard for the muscles that we earn and I think that in women's physique and in um, women's bodybuilding you get the creativity of going out there and you know showing off exactly what what you work so hard for it's fun to go out there and have a little bit more time and and enjoy the stage that's what we're there for and, and to be able to show off all the muscles that you have grown so uh, I enjoy it I enjoy both um, what do your two boys think of? They their, love it. Their, their My, mom. they they love. Sometimes they, <laughs> sometimes they say, "Mom, please let don't wear your makeup. You know, don't get so dressed up." So now um, it's all about but the they breathing do and love it. pulling They love up. it when we go away and they want to hear how I did. They went to my very first show, and I think that for them um, to see exactly what I do was very monumental because they see me diet um, but to see the determination and what it takes for me to get to where I need to go um, it's very rewarding and, and I would say to anybody that has children invite them out take them to a show let them see you on stage because that that's so important so that they can, they feel involved So my first warm-up set, he's going to start stacking the weight on. <sighs> Holding it the other day. Oh, that one's done. Six, that's it. 
Why do you do it in terms of goals? Do you have any long-term sorts of goals? Are you looking for a pro card per se, or you know, it, I, I, my. In the gym, I just I love to come in and lift. If if I was competing or not, a competition to me is kind of like a weight goal to anybody else. Um, it's a drive. It's a reason, you know, just to show off what I did or work so hard for. Um, and it's just the joy and and the love of the sport. Um, I have very thick skin, so I like to hear the critiques from the judges. And when they tell me, well, you're holding too much body fat, I'm like, okay, so the next time I come in, I'll be a little leaner. And that too in the sport is, is very important, that you don't take things so, you know, you can't have thin skin in the sport. <laughs> so, um, but I definitely, I, I use the shows as just, you know, catapults to the things that I've done here in the gym. One fifty-five for how many? Triple. So we're going one fifty-five for a triple. We need to wait a four. Okay, look on the first one. Don't get slack in. Don't smash it. I want you to tighten up the slack before you pull. Come on, get the it. Pull it into you. Get the slack out of it. Get the slack out of it. Get the slack out of it more. Get your arms tight. Two. Up. Now. Pull. One. Two. One more. And three. Hit. Take off the 10. I want you to explode. Don't hold your breath. Explode out. Growl if you got to. Get mean. Come on. Get aggressive. Come on, Steph. Get aggressive. This ain't no girly weight here. Pull it under your... Make sure your feet are under. Feet are under. Chin up, get the slack out, explode, go, let's go, pull, nice, that's it. 205. She's about 100 pounds more than she is. You get tight, then explode. Okay. Tighten roll up. up, when I roll up, like what do gorilla. I do? Think of a gorilla, you're a gorilla. You're yeah, gonna hold okay. it, and then once you feel your arms tight, then explode. You got this easy. I think if somebody put five grand on there and said, you get that. <laughs> this is a money lift. The bed is as heavy as me and you pick my ass up. Come on. I am always looking for some good, high-quality sponsorships. You can contact me and follow me throughout the year at Stephanie Kittner on Facebook.